Okay. Let's, uh, here's a nice little scenario for you. Let's say you're sifting through your email, your buddy sends you uh, a piece of software that that he thinks is going to be really cool on your operating system. And, of course, you know, you're running Ubuntu or one of its derivatives. You download this package, and it's an RPM package, and you're about ready to pull your hair out of your head. I can't run this damn thing. Well, today, we're going to talk about Alien on Spatry's Cup of Linux. moral of this story is never let Spatry have more than two cups of coffee in the morning. I think I'm working on five, but hey, for people like me, caffeine is the only way to fly. Okay, today we're going to talk about Alien, and Alien is this cool little program that will let you convert RPMs to deb files. Now, I had this installed for uh, quite some time. But I've never had an opportunity to really try it. But I figured there would be something along the lines that I would want to try out. And just in case there wasn't a dev package available, I'd be able to convert it. Okay, so first, you're going to need this program. It is alien. You would basically type in sudo apt get install alien. Okay, and as you can see, it's not going to install because I have the latest version of this. And you're also going to need the package converter. Now, I have a link in the show notes where you can get this. You can use Alien as a command line tool, but me being tied to Windows for so many years, I'm just used to doing everything from a graphical user interface. I feel more comfortable doing that way. So having an extra 500k of hard drive space to have a front end for a program uh, suits me just fine. Okay, first we need to, in this line here, we put where we want the destination file, and then here we're going to go ahead and select the uh, file we wish to convert. And let's go into downloads here. And I uh, downloaded uh, the Mahjong game. So we'll go ahead and open that. And as you can see here in my game section, I don't have Mahjong. I like playing it once in a while, but sometimes it gives me a headache. <laughs> Can't stand that. Okay, now, another thing I'd like to point out, according to uh, Aliens' website, is the fact that that this, even though it's been in development for many years, it is still considered to be experimental software. That being said, do not expect this to work 100% of the time. If there's a program you really must get, I would recommend downloading the tarball from the uh, project creator's website and compiling it from source. Usually they're good enough to include instructions for doing that. Okay, now let's select the package type. We want this to be deb, obviously, so that we can install. And then we'll press the gear here and we're gonna see if this works. It is converting now. And then once it's done converting, we're going to try and uh, install this. Okay, it has completed. Let's go ahead and close this program. We can go into our downloads folder, and you can see that it made a package for us to install. And this is a Mahjong Solitaire game for GNOME, it's saying. Oh, good. Well, at least we know it'll work on our system here. And let's see what happens. 
Let's see if we can make the computer blow up today. <laughs> but we'll know in a moment. The proof's in the pudding. If I'm playing Mahjong, well then, uh, this example went well and all that other stuff. And if I'm not playing Mahjong, then uh, you'll have a video where you can comment on and throw rotten tomatoes at me and all that other stuff. Okay. It says all dependencies are satisfied. It's going to the other... Okay. It says uh, the package is installed. Let's close this thing. Let's find out for playing Mahjong here. Okay, and uh, we'll go into games, and here's Mahjong. Unable to render file. Please check to make sure that Mahjong installed correctly. Hmm. But it's working. Okay, that's weird. Uh, we did get an error. Well, let's try and um, get some matches going. Okay, well, it seems to be working just fine for me, other than the fact we've got an error message. Okay, well, hmm. Well, not necessarily perfect, but I was able to get this to work. If you thought this was useful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Also, catch me on Facebook and Twitter. And uh, uh, also, I want to thank all of you people for uh, your tremendous response. And uh, please keep those suggestions coming in, and I'll keep these videos coming out to you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Now pick out another video. I've got tons of them to choose from.